Late Show. Well, one year on now, uh, we can talk about the Batesian Players. Uh, they're based in Cheltenham and they're just about to put on their first comedy production. Uh, to tell us more about it, uh, the Patesian player herself, who emailed me uh, a couple of weeks ago, Amber Smith, is in the studio. Hello, Hello. to you. And also we've got the director of uh, the, the comedy play, which will be on uh, the back end of next week, Roy O'Sullivan. Hello to you. Good afternoon. Thank you both for coming in. OK, I was um, director of drama at Pate's, Right. grammar school for 10 years and when I retired it occurred to me that there have been a, a lot of pupils that have gone through the school and the school had a very high reputation has a very high reputation for drama um, a lot of good people and it seemed there might be some of them still around in Cheltenham or available during um, university holidays that might like to do some drama and so I simply sent out a, 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 an email to about 50 or 60 people who had been at the school over the last 10 years and about 50 of them got back so wow. it was amazing so, and from that um, we had a meeting and uh, decided on a, a first show, which we did this time last year, which was the Accrington Pals, which was a, a First World War drama. Um, and that went down well. So we were playing it by ear, really, at that stage, see who turned up, and uh, that was well received. And then we did a second show um, at Easter. We had a garbler at Easter. Um, and this is the third, so it seems to be seems to be taking off, which is nice. So you went into retirement, and now you've given yourself more work to Absolutely. do. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, my wife not happy with it. He got a bit bored at <laughs> retirement, I think. <laughs> so, Amber, how did you hear about it? Um, I got the email originally, but I was in uni at the time, um, and this one's the first one really that I've been available to do. And also, being a comedy, I, it oh. just struck me as the one that I was really interested in. And the part I'm playing, I'm really enjoying doing. So we'll talk a bit about the play in a moment. So you were you were a Page Grammar School student. Yeah, yeah, I finished there in 2009, um, and I'm now at UWE. Right. But um, yeah, I've come back to Cheltenham to do this. To do this, yeah. In terms of of the amount of people at Page, I mean, I know you said they they've got a very high reputation for theatre. Did that then make it difficult for people to want to be in one of the productions because it was it was so highly regarded? Um. Well, whilst I was there, we, t we did uh, one major show a year, which was always a huge thing. So there were there might have been 60 or 70 people in it. You did a great big musical or something. We did things like Jesus Christ Superstar mm -hmm. or Fiddler on the Roof, huge, massive musicals, so you could involve lots and lots of people. But it was also a strong drama department that did A-level drama and GCSE drama. So And there were lots of drama clubs. There's a huge amount of drama going on, and there mm -hmm. still is. And so it was always something that people could become involved in. And it was important because Pace is often seen as an academic school, an academic hothouse. And so it's really important, I think, that the the arts flourish there. Mm. It's got a very strong music department as well, and a strong art department. Um, and there, there was, there's always, uh, there's always a demand, I think, for it. So. I think the thing for me was it was like I've had such wonderful memories of the shows we did a year. I did um, Return to the Forbidden Planet was my favourite, where we did, and <laughs> Rory made us all wear sort of silver cat suits and <laughs> silly things like that. <laughs> but we had such a great time doing it, and it was on this huge stage at Pates, and um, yeah, just want to go back and do it again you just wouldn't say no so Did you and the people the people who have got involved from Gloucestershire who are not at Pates have just sort of got mm. the bug a bit really because it, it is open it. to everybody isn't yeah, it this isn't yeah. just alumni of Pates it's, so, it's, it's mainly what, alumni yeah there are three, three or four that aren't Pates people and they've dovetailed in brilliantly yeah, yeah. they have One's our treasurer. We couldn't live without him. Basically. Everybody needs a treasurer. Yeah. He looks after the overdraft. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose really as well, I mean, as, as you said, uh, Rory made it fun and exciting when you were back at school. Yeah. Uh, that's probably the underlying point here. You need a good teacher, don't you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. We got one. It's all right. <laughs> so tell us about the play. That uh, your first comedy, as you said, that's going to be on uh, starting the fourth of September. Starts I want to on say. Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. yeah. It's Tuesday. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the play. Yeah, um, it's a 1950s comedy um, set in Paris. Um, and it's basically about an artist who's a very famous artist, and it opens, um, and he's just died, and all his family sort of collect and discuss what's left and his massive fortune and they find out a bit of a secret about him and I don't know how much I'm going to give away. <laughs> I, think, I, think I think because it appears very early in the play, one's entitled to say that very early on you realise that he didn't paint any of the paintings that he is famous yeah. for. Ah. And so the play revolves around all the misunderstandings. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. it's classic Noel Coward. In fact, it's a, a very little known Coward and I, I've never seen it done. Um, so it was fun to rediscover one. It's and, very uh, funny. And very, it is, very it funny. Is very, very funny. Yeah. So this is Noel <laughs> Coward's. Very funny. <laughs> yes, this funny, is yeah. Noel Coward's nude with violin. That's that what it's is called, correct. isn't yeah. it? Is it harder doing a comedy rather than, say, a tragedy? I think it's 
I think it's more fun. <laughs> it's more fun. It's, it's more it's... difficult in some ways because timing is so important. I mean, okay. in, in, yeah. in, in, in straight roles, then actors have a, a, a chance to sort of get themselves into a part and into a, a given scene. In yeah. comedies, it's normally much fast, faster dialogue, quick-fire responses. I think with um, parts that I've done in the past as straight plays, you can kind of relate to it a little bit more and you can play it and you can think about who it might relate to, whereas the part I'm trying to play at the moment, it's very exaggerated, very over the top, and you have to literally completely let go. Yeah. I'm playing a Cockney type. Oh, <laughs> so, Cockney there you go. In Cherry May, I'm playing. <laughs> and, um, I love that going into character. Cherry May, yeah. Um, and, yeah, um, so, as you can imagine, it has to be completely over the top. Yeah. So that's a bit of a challenge. And you do and, have um, um, actors that are simply better at comic roles. Yeah. Um, um, within the company, there are two or three just hilarious people. What are you like, saying? Monty, yeah, well, there you go. Monty, the, the chap who plays the, the, the butler, who is sort of central to the, oh, the whole he's plot. Oh, he's absolutely brilliant. He's a hilarious yeah. guy. You know, he's sort Butlers of six, tend six to foot be, though, seven don't they? And, <laughs> and a large chap in every sense of the word. And, he, and the trouble is, trying to rehearse a comedy seriously, which you actually have to rehearse seriously, is quite tricky. When mm. your cast is falling about laughing all the time because all the ad libs and asides yeah. and all the rest of it. But, got, so yeah. it's huge fun to do. We've got a Russian in there, and we've got who else? Who the comedy characters. We've got a Russian. We've got. We've got, yeah, yeah lots, we've got yeah. all sorts that keep appearing, oh. and it's just very funny. They keep appearing at all different moments. You just don't expect it. It's, is um, it difficult building uh, a new? production as we say a new group a new society uh, because whereas perhaps maybe if you are at school if you're not good enough you don't get in but this does have to be very inclusive doesn't it because if people do just want to go and try and learn uh, and be a part of something fun uh, is it hard to kind of then incorporate everybody? I don't think that's been hard at all. That, that there's been extraordinary cohesion in the company. The hard thing is, is people don't know about us. Yeah. And getting an audience is the tricky thing, really. So it's quite brilliant being here this afternoon. <laughs> um, but getting getting the word out, because people know about the CODs and the gods and, and mm. Savoyards and all the rest of it. They don't know about the Petitian players. Um, and so when you mention it, people oh, I've never heard of it. And and that's that's the hard thing to really... Yeah, we are trying to establish ourselves as a, ourselves as a company rather than linked to a school as well now, aren't we? We're yeah, I mean, the school's brilliant in that it provides, it provides facilities, it lets us rehearse there, it lets yeah. us use their technical equipment, and without the, the, uh, the, the, without sort of the help, support, we it wouldn't, would be yeah, it would be difficult. But we are a company in our own right now. And we perform, and performed in other places, so, so we took so. it out, we, um, we, did, we performed at uh, the Parabola Centre, when we did Hedda Garbler. Oh, fantastic. The Parabola, and that was a wonderful venue. It is, yeah. Um, yeah. Really, really nice, and we've done it in sort of church halls and school halls and Whittington yeah, Village Hall, which has a capacity of about five. Well, yeah. So. <laughs> yes, yeah, indeed. Well, if people do want to come down and they want to see uh, Noel, <laughs> you putting on Noel Coward's Nude with Violin, as we said, yeah. it starts next Tuesday. Where can they go for tickets? And, of course, where's it all being held? OK, so Tuesday the 4th of September and Wednesday the 5th of September, it's being held at Sacred Hearts Church Hall in Charlton Kings. It starts at 7.30. And on Friday the 7th and Saturday the 8th of September, it's at Pates Grammar School at 7.30. Um, you can either buy tickets if you go to our website at www.patesianplayers.co.uk, which is, I spell Patesian, which is P-A-T-E-S-I-A-N-P-L-A-Y-E-R-S.co.uk, -E mm -hmm. or you can call 0844-870887. Fantastic. Um, and there's a link on the website that takes you to the tickets to online that. Well. Yeah. Well, best of luck with it. Hope it goes well. Uh, it, I think it's you know great you're all coming together and yeah. one year on, still going strong and, and growing from strength to strength. And I take it uh, those numbers as well, if people actually are thinking about joining a new, uh, a new club, a new society, and they want to... to to see what you do. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. For people to come along, yeah. Because the next show will be in um, uh, next April and will be Tennessee Williams' Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Oh, so wow. very, very different yeah, again. But, so we're looking for people to audition straight after this show. Excellent yeah, and we've stuff. Got, if you go to our website, there's contact details on there. You can contact us on. Well, good luck with it next week. Hope it goes well. Thank you for coming in the studio this afternoon. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Us. Thank you very much. Uh, you. That was Amber Smith there and Rory O'Sullivan from the Petesian Players. As I said, you can see uh, their take on Noel Cowards Nude with Violin. They start next Tuesday. Uh, that number again, 0844 870 887. Anna King.